So the entire cot fits in this bag. Starting to rain hard. Marchway ultralight folding cot. And at end of June, it was about, it's gonna be 70 bucks. All right guys, so the Marchway ultralight cot is about 4.8 pounds and it can support up to 275 pounds. So what I'm gonna do today is actually unbox this for you guys. We actually we bought two of these tents, so one green, one silver. This one is totally still inside of its plastic wrap, so I'm actually going to unbox this for you guys right now and show you what's all in it. All right, so let's break this open. So everything for this cot actually fits all in this bag. So we got here, we got a couple legs. I'm just gonna set all these up beside you. This entire cot's about six foot long. So you got the two poles right here, and then you got the five crossbars over here, and then you just have the single mat material. And right away on the side, the material here is actually pretty nice. It doesn't feel cheap or anything, which is nice. And we also have these little pouches on the side. So that goes. So you stuff this guy all the way through. I know a lot of you guys like to be fast when you're setting up camp. I can see this going very quickly if I actually, you know, read the directions first. But when you get that in there, there's actually a little slit up here where the pole is going to sit in, so it's not it doesn't go through the, it doesn't go through the hole again for it to collapse. So right now this is securely on the pole and it's not going to slide. So let's do that to the other side here. Do that same thing to this side. So now these poles are totally solid in there and they're not gonna fly out. So next thing you gotta do, you're gonna actually start in the middle when you start connecting these poles. So we're actually gonna hook this in and then just bend this first one over. This does take, that did take a little bit of strength, but as you start adding more, it's gonna get easier. So you're gonna work your way from the inside out. Set it up on its side like this. It just makes it easier to stretch these bars in. There we go. And then I just got the one more right here. All right, and that is it. This entire cot fits in this bag. So that's pretty crazy and impressive. So this is supposed to support 274 pounds. I'm, def I'm definitely not six foot, but it's pretty comfy. But yeah, so when I'm sitting down in here, actually, it doesn't, I'm not touching the ground or anything. So it seems pretty solid. The material on here feels really good. Curious though, to see how long this material is gonna last though. As you keep using material, it's gonna start stretching. Stretching to the point where if I sit here, it's gonna, you know, eventually start touching the ground. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that. And what we also plan on doing is adding sleeping pads on top of this to give it another layer of comfort. And then we also have some pillows that we're bringing with us as well. All of those are packable and 
leave a really small footprint. So our camping gear is gonna get pretty minimal this summer while we're in Alaska. I'm excited, this should be a pretty comfortable cot. In the past, the cots that I've used are the really tall ones and they're really bulky. They weigh a lot. And this has a much smaller footprint, weighs way less. And I think it's gonna be, I, th I think this is gonna do really good. Done. So it took about three minutes and 30 seconds. Not bad at all. Almost as long as uh, setting up my rooftop tent. <laughs> also, one more thing to note, guys. The feet on this cot, they shouldn't slip or anything as you have the cot set up and you're sleeping on them. So that's also pretty nice. I also like the little carrying bag that it comes with. I've also added... I did at one point have my portable pillow in here, which is just like an inflatable pillow, which fits up in this open area right here. So you can actually really consolidate a lot of your gear. All right guys, well that concludes the video. I just really kind of wanted to show you guys that quickly. We're looking for gear that is portable, packable, lightweight, because I'm gonna be leaving all of this gear here in Alaska after we leave. And so that way, when we come back, we got you know stuff to camp with right away. I don't have to go and scrounge for gear and whatnot. All of our camp gear essentially sits inside of here, other than our tent, which our tent is, is down over there. And then we got these 20 to 40 degree sleeping bags. Got a tarp for under the tent. So these cots, the reason why I wanted to get these is I didn't want to mess around with an air mattress. So back in the day when we used to tent camp a lot, we would always do air mattresses, but air mattresses are bulky. You got to carry around a external, you know, inflator, either, you know, battery operated or you got to foot pedal it. I did some testing a, lo a long time ago and like slept on a cot and slept on, you know, just a sleeping pad and stuff. And the cot was always so much more comfortable. So that's why I really wanted to pivot into the cots rather than using an air mattress to sleep on. And then I also have an inflatable pillow and then two inflatable sleeping pads. So that's what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna put pads on top of these two cots. That way it is just a little bit more comfortable. And to get started, I mean, we kept things super basic. So right now all I got really is just the jet boil. I got a small little camp light here. I got the propane tank. I got some mountain house food right here. So I got the breakfast skillet as well as the pad thai. And the pad thai is amazing for all you that know, you know. And we got some Ziploc bags and some utensils in here. And then to actually, you know, make any food and stuff, you guys know I love my Stanleys. And so I decided to try out this two cup cook set instead. Cause really I'm not gonna be making anything elaborate here. And if I do, I'm gonna be using other people's gear, but this is really just the bare minimum stuff when I'm wanting to go out camping, do some fishing, and I don't need much. So I can actually boil water in here and you can actually make pasta in here as well. But inside of here, you essentially have these two cups like this. And then you got this whole measuring cup right here. So we got these two cups. These are those insulated cups. And that's it. I might get another dish set that has like, you know, maybe just two, two plates, maybe a bowl. But other than that, that is it. And then I got some mosquito repellents in there. But check this out. Look at this. I can literally store my cots right inside of here. And then got, I'm going to just you know, put all this back together. So all fit. are all fit 
just in here. All the gear fits inside the trunk of Carly's old Ford Focus that she drove around in high school. So right now we're actually in an Airbnb out in Willow, which is about, I think an hour, hour and a half outside of Anchorage. We got a fire pit, we got a grill, outhouse. We got the little cabin right here. It is currently a dry cabin, but it does have power. And so inside of here, let me just give you guys a quick tour. We've got a little seating area out here. We brought our cooler. And then in here we got a uh, microwave, sink, doesn't have any, no running water. It's got a little potable water here though, so we can, you know, wash dishes and stuff with it. It's got a full size fridge. Carly's sleeping on the bed, but this is about a full size bed. Got a little couch area. And yeah, this place is pretty nice. Not a little bad spot. It's only like, I think it's like 60 or 50 bucks a night. So that's all I got guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions about the cot or anything like that, let me know down in the comments below. Or if you've ever used a cot like this, let me know if you like them or you don't, or if you prefer, you know, the bigger cots or whatnot. So let me know. If you guys are new here, my name is Caden. I do a new video every week on pretty much anything outdoors, camping, hiking, fishing, adventure videos like this one. So if you guys are into that, definitely check out the channel. Right now I'm in Alaska and we are spending the next few weeks here in Alaska, my hometown or my home state actually. And we're getting away from the heat because right now Vegas is ridiculous. So definitely check out the channel if you guys are into that. I do a lot of camping out in the Vegas area, but right now this is the Alaskan series. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.